Hey guys, how are you going? Just a quick video today on the CSS AWTR or attribute function. So, if you're not too sure what this function does, essentially it allows you to insert um, a value within CSS by using the value of an HTML attribute. Okay, and it's typically used, or it should only be used currently, um, with CSS pseudo elements um, using the content property. So essentially, it's very useful and it allows you to avoid using duplicate code or HTML output. So I'm going to be showing you firstly how it works and then secondly a quick example of a practical use for this function. So let's go inside the text editor right here in the HTML. Let's create a new div uh, with an ID of my div and inside here I can just say for example this is a div. I'm also going to go up here and target that div. So hash my div Okay, and inside here, I'm just going to say width and make this something like 500 pixels and a height of let's just say 100 pixels and also a background of let's just say um, a light gray for visibility. So now of course saving this gives us something like this, okay, I might just reduce that width real quick to something like 350. Um, but anyway, uh, now that we have um, our div right here, we're going to make use of the uh, AWT uh, function down here. So as I said, um, you need to be using a CSS pseudo element with the content uh, property. Okay, so um, it's very straightforward how these work. Essentially, if you haven't heard of them, you simply say my div and then colon colon and then after or before. And this right here is going to create a CSS pseudo element. Okay, so um, a pseudo element is just an extra uh, virtual element that is created through CSS. So it's almost the equivalent of a standard HTML element. Okay. And inside here, we can insert some content. For example, we can say content and say, Hi, my name is Dom. Of course, now saving this and refreshing, we can see that we have uh, the virtual element right here, or the pseudo element, um, with a value of Hi, my name is Dom. So that is what the content property does. So now, let's make use of the AWTR function to just essentially grab a value from an HTML attribute. So, for example, of course, uh, my div here, down here, has a single attribute, and that of course is called ID. So, we can go inside here, and we can say content, a double -T -R, just like that, and we can say ID. Okay, so now saving this and then refreshing, we can see that we now get my div displayed right there. So it's essentially grabbing the value of an HTML attribute that you provide. It's very simple in the way it works. Okay, so let's go back inside here now and do one more thing. And we're going to say right here, we're going to say um, the ID attribute for this div is, and then we can put a single apostrophe right there put a space and then do the same thing up here, putting a single apostrophe, we're going to say, uh, you know, this is, this is cool, okay? Um, so now saving this and refreshing, we can see that we have appended a string um, before and after the value of the um, AWTR function. Okay, so that is the syntax right there for concatenating um, and constructing strings within uh, this property. So it's simply just a space between um, every single uh, component. Okay, so now that's uh, that's the basic usage of the AWT uh, function. Let's take a look at a very simple uh, practical example of how it may be used. So um, this can come in handy when creating something like tooltips or extra information outside of your element. Okay, so let's create a very simple tooltip right now. So down here inside the div, we're going to uh, add a second attribute called data dash, then we're going to say tooltip, okay? Then inside here we can say, this is my tooltip text, for example. And of course, this right here is where you would put your actual tooltip text. Um, you can even use the title attribute, it's probably more appropriate for this scenario, however, it doesn't matter for the purposes of this video. I've also got a video of doing a tooltip or creating a tooltip using uh, pure CSS, um, so be sure to check that out if you're interested. But anyway, uh, let's go up here now and change the content of this after to be a double -T -R. I'm going to pass in here data-tooltip. Okay, so now we can also just put a position of relative um, 
up here in the div, okay, which allows us to use a position of absolute um, just down here. Then we're going to say bottom and make this 120% and left to be zero. We can also just say right here, we can say background and we can say RGBA 000, 000, 0 0.75 and we can say a text color of white. We're going to also add some padding of 5px and then and we can say border radius and make this 20 pixels. So obviously a bunch of CSS here, just for a quick example, uh, saving this and then refreshing, we can see we have a kind of uh, unfinished tooltip right here, of course, containing the value from the HTML attribute. So as we can see, you can get quite creative with this, uh, with this CSS function and it comes in handy right here because I didn't need to create a second element inside here for a tooltip. I can easily create a tooltip using an attribute, which of course avoids duplicating code and um, outputting extra HTML. So that right there is the CSS AWTR function. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.